Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am excited that you have joined me today for this Dip Into Autumn collab uh, brought together by Marla Chris and 14 other wonderful ladies. I am number 16 and the last one in this Dip Into Autumn collab and I am excited uh, to be here with all these other ladies and to be here with you today. Today I have a combination of dip, which I've already done on my left hand, and gel polish and stamping. So I'm um, looking forward to sharing this with you. I've been practicing quite a bit, so hopefully everything goes off without a hitch. Uh, I've already done uh, the removal and two coats of clear acrylic on my left hand to save time. I have used my Virgo and Gem base coat my Virgo and Gem activator and now even though before gel coat you don't want something totally smooth this did not require any filing at all with the e-file to smooth it out looks like just bare nails doesn't it but I am going to do just a small bit of buffing so that my gel polish goes on absolutely smooth I liked the shape that my nails were still in I wanted them long for this mani for the stamping and so I'm just going to do a quick filing, quick buffing, leave it a little bit rough and then we'll get into the gel polish. Today I'm using the Model Ones kit I bought on Amazon. It is the No Wipe Gel Kit that includes a base, a shiny top coat, and a matte top coat. Today I'm going to be using the base and the shiny top coat. So I'm going to start out with the base. Now the reason that you don't want to file all the way down to perfectly smooth nails is because the gel needs something to grip onto, so you want to make sure that um, you leave a little bit of texture on your nails. Don't buff them completely smooth or else the gel won't adhere. When you're applying gel, keep it off of your sidewalls, off of your cuticles, it's best if you try and push back like that once you've put the thicker part of the polish on the rest of your nail. Helps keep it off of that cuticle area. That's my best tip that I've found for that. If you do get it on your skin just before you cure it, you need to remove that because the gel polish is not going to dry until you've cured it. So you have time to get it off your skin. You notice the Model Ones is not a runny gel. So there's a lot on this brush, but it's not saturating my nail. I love this, great product. either side of your orange stick since I had a little more that got on the edge right there I'm using the bigger side of the 
orange stick to remove it and then going back in to clean up the small side. do need a base coat with gel so if you're having trouble with your gel application it's not staying it's peeling off uh, even over dip nails if you find out after a couple of days it peels cracks whatever doesn't want to stay find you a, a good base coat and use that underneath because the base coat helps it adhere the top coat unless it is one that says it's a base and a top coat by itself will not work. Cure that for 30 seconds. Since this is a no wipe base and top coat, I don't have to wipe it off. If you don't have a no wipe base and top coat, then you could just use alcohol and wipe the sticky layer off. Uh, the times I'm giving are for my Chiatre, and I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right, but uh, it's linked down below. But it is a 72 watt UV LED uh, gel lamp from Amazon. The polish I'm using today is Gel Nail Polish by Amelie. It's also from Amazon. And it is 064, which is also called Box Red. It may have another name, but that's what it says on the box. Red 064. Give it a little shake. When you're applying gel polish, you don't want it too thick or too thin, but thin coats are better than thick. Again, start in the middle. Take your time. Get your fuzzies and cat hairs off. <laughs> uh, anyone else have that problem? Everyone has fuzzies. Not everyone has cat hair. Try and make it as smooth as you can. Keeping it off the skin. Like I said, I use that pushback method, but I am definitely not perfect with it. Is a gorgeous red color. The brush is small enough on this one, I have to keep going back for a second dip. Once it's cured, it's not coming off, so... You got any base coat on your skin, like I did apparently on that nail? It's going to stay there until you either use a, a e-file and buff it off, 
or if it's a small enough area, you can carefully use just a hand file, just an emery board, something that doesn't have a high grit. I mean, that does have a high grit, sorry, has a fine grit. That's what you want to use. Because even acetone is not really going to affect that gel polish unless you soak it. In which case, if you soak it, you're also going to get your nail uh, polish to come off. My hands are never perfectly steady. and I still end up with beautiful manis. Put that in for another 30 seconds. Okay, back for a second coat. And of course, since I'm videoing, I'm going to make a mess of it today for you all. I could cut it out, but where's the fun in that? I want y'all to share in my entire nail journey, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And, uh, show you the mistakes I make so if you make them you know what to do and you know you're not alone because a lot of these ladies out there are so good and so practiced at what they do they don't make these little mistakes so yeah you're not alone so level look at that I'll put my hand upside down for about 15 seconds that's going to help the gel level towards the apex of the nail also which is the center of the nail also get um, nice level get it all shiny and then I'm going to pop it in my UV lamp for two minutes because I want it to cure completely back two minutes cured it is gorgeous gorgeous such a beautiful red and it is a perfect red for what I have planned here today when I think of fall I live in the country I have horses live on the ranch so when I think of fall I think of flannel and so to do that today I've got my red I've got the maniology plate from August now they call this a picnic tablecloth, all these. 
But this one right here, I'm going to use for flannel today. So, hang out, and I'm going to show you what I do. Also, you know, just a different way to use the plates that you get. Uh, just think creatively. I'm going to be using, I thought I had, Maniology Black Stamping Polish, but guess what? I didn't, so I could have ordered some, but I thought I'd try what I have on hand, and the one that worked best was this Born Pretty Nail Lacquer from Wish. Uh, it is just a black base manicure polish. So that's what I'm going to be using. And then because I am using polish instead of tamp ugh, stamping polish, <laughs> uh, I'm using polish instead of stamping polish. Uh, it would actually, when I'm doing the full coverage on the stamping, it would get all around my fingernails. I would have a hard time cleaning it up. So I'm going to use, this says gel polish, but you know what? It's not. Model 1's gel nail polish. It is liquid latex. And so it is the paint on liquid latex to go around the cuticles. And that's what I'm going to be using. It'll be my first time ever using any liquid latex. Sorry, the bottle was still taped. First time ever using liquid latex. Got this from Amazon. You get a pink, you get a white. So I'm going to be um, putting that around my nails to keep the Born Pretty Black Polish off of the skin. And I'm gonna get that done and we'll be right back for stamping. So I figured I'd show you, since it's my first time, how easy or how difficult this might be. It's very thin. Very thin. So yeah, I have no idea how this is going to work. I've heard you can also use Elmer's glue, so if you wanted, if you have Elmer's glue and you wanted to give that a try, let me know how it works. Welcome to my channel, by the way. Welcome back. Welcome back to my channel for those of you who've been here before. Welcome to my channel for anybody who is new here. I'm excited that you've decided to join me today uh, on my nail journey, on my first collab ever that I've been invited to join. This has been exciting for me, planning it, getting it ready, um, ready to share with you guys and and all the practice and stuff to try and make sure that I knew what I was going to do. And uh, if you would, please click that like button below. If you would like to subscribe, I would sure appreciate it. I'm going to be having a giveaway when I get to 100 subscribers. So make sure you click on that um, subscribe to all button. Make sure you click the bell so you get notifications so you know when I'm going to be having that drawing. And uh, make sure that you enter it. So that's the liquid latex. And now I've just got to wait for it to dry. Okay, we're back. I've got my 70% isopropyl rubbing alcohol because Amelie is not a no wipe gel polish. So, I'm just going to take my alcohol, put it on my cotton ball, squirt it everywhere apparently, and just rub off that sticky layer. Now I am going to reapply my, and I know this may seem counterintuitive, but I am going to, wow, I am going to apply my uh, base coat back on after I let this dry. My no white face coat. And I'll be back for that. Okay, applying my base coat. And then I'm gonna fully cure it under my UV lamp.
By the way, this is the first colored gel polish I've ever used. I've only done the base coat and the top coat before, so you ladies who are proficient with gel can tell me, is it normal for it to dull down like that after you use alcohol? Look at that. The reason I went ahead and used the alcohol was because it was so sticky, like anything in the air that was flying around was sticking to it, and the base coat is not nearly that sticky, and I'm wiping it to get off the little fuzzies that got left behind by the cotton. That's why I'm wiping the brush so often when I see it. All right, I'm going to fully cure that, and I'll be back. All right, I'm back got my non-acetone polish remover. I've got my cotton claw with my non-acetone polish remover on it. My Maniology stamper. My Maniology scraper. My Maniology plate. And my Born Pretty polish for stamping. My nails have that perfect stickiness to them to help the Stamping polish stick. The latex around them is completely dry. Woo. Flannel. If you miss a corner, line it up, go back. I love these clear stampers for that. And then when I'm done with that nail, this is where I practiced. I used a couple of these. This is just a lint roller. You just practice on that. You don't have to practice on your nails. Use that. It works even on polish to clean up your stamper. And I'm gonna use non-acetone polish remover to clean up my plate. See how cute that is? Oh, it reminds me of a flannel shirt. So much reminds me of fall. Gotta wait for that to dry now. Maybe use a cotton swab to help it out. Apparently I had a little extra non-acetone polish remover on there. And I'm gonna let you watch while I do the rest of my nails. This is why I'm going to be glad for that liquid latex.
that one's smudged a little. Let's hope nobody's looking at them that hard, right? Okay, so since that's polish and not stamping polish, I'm going to give it a few minutes to dry and then I'm going to top coat it. Alright, we're ready to top coat. When you're top coating, you want to, um, whether you're using polish or stamping polish, either one, you either want to use a special top coat, that a non-smear top coat, uh, Maniology has one, or if you're doing a gel, you want to make sure you put it on thick enough and don't overwork it. You want to just float it over the top of that stamping so you don't want to press hard enough that it's going to move the stamping around on your nail. Otherwise, it will mess up your stamping. something caught in that nail so it may end up staying there because it doesn't want to move and I'm afraid I'm gonna mess up my stamping So bug you when you get something in it and you know that it's there because like I will probably see that every time I look at my nails now to cure. Okay, so let's talk about the Model 1's peel-off, latex peel-off. I did go back and apply two more coats, by the way, off camera. So, let's see how it works. So there's three coats, three layers on here of this nail tape, as they call it. It's not wanting to come off very easily. I may do most of the removal off camera. Let me know what you think of this nail tape. Like I said, I did apply three coats. Um, hmm. So far, I'm not impressed with removal. I've read really good reviews about it. It did not come with any instructions, so I actually did go onto the Model 1's website, even though I bought it from Amazon. There's no instructions on the bottle. Or the box but as you can see it is not wanting to remove itself I would love to hear y'all's comments below uh, on whether you've used this product or whether you've used another one that works for you um, this is pretty thick on here but it's just it's just not wanting to remove. So I think I'm gonna go try some water, maybe? I don't know right now. Oh, there's one. So okay, when it does come off, it has worked. Maybe I should apply four or five coats to get it to come off. It said, even on the Model 1's website, it said, you know, two to three coats. 
this one's thicker. Let's try it. It's the thickest one on the thumb. That's more like what I expected it to do. But yeah, I'm having to dig and dig at my finger. It doesn't feel good to try and remove this tape. So let me go get that off and I'll be back with final thoughts. Okay, I'm back after that struggle to remove the uh, Model 1's liquid latex cuticle protector, but uh, my cuticles and sidewalls look a little rough for the efforts because it took tweezers and it took scrubbing and all sorts of stuff. It just didn't want to come off my skin. So, I'm really thankful for my cuticle candy skincare, my Hot Mess Marla, and the link for this will be down below. But this is going to fix all those problems, and within a day, you won't even notice. So, that's the before of the cuticles and the sidewalls after using the Model 1s. Doesn't take much, put a little bit of that in, rub it on. feels so good, so good. And then afterwards, everything will heal up nicely. So that's it for today's Manny. Thank you for joining me in the Dip Into Autumn collab. I hope you've enjoyed seeing my first time using colored gel polish, my first time stamping, my first collab. And I hope you've enjoyed learning how to do flannel and it is my favorite thing to wear in the winter, flannel and blue jeans. Thank you again for joining me. Please like, please subscribe, and please comment down below and let me know what you think of this Manny and other comments that you have of things that I've done along the way. This is all for you, so please let me know what you'd like to see. Bye!